Anyway, uh, what was I going to get to? This is for uh, Mike, Blue Hands, or anybody else who might be curious or watching or might want to know. Well, I'm going to be doing uh, CNC on this because I don't trust myself to make all them grooves at exactly the right depths and all that. And this is exactly what, you know, I did all this crap to this machine for. So I'm going to try it on a real live actual part that I spent a lot of time on. And this is the only one, <laughs> and I don't want to do it again. So hopefully all my dry runs, all 270 of them, uh, from everything from using the wrong uh, measurement uh, imperial or metric to having the tables locked to forgetting to put the right bit in, and hopefully I got it all out of my system now. So we're going to do a, uh, a quick CNC, and this is going to illustrate subroutines within the G-Code program. So uh, I'm going to use a subroutine that will do nine iterations. The intention is, it's going to cut one, I'll mark it off, excuse me, I don't have to mark it off. I'm just going to touch off at the spot that I want to start on the pulley. And from there the G-code will go in and make the first groove, come back out, and then subroutine the next nine grooves, and then get the tool out of the way so I can try the belt. Let's, uh, let's go over to the computer and take a look at how simple this all is. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is what the, well, it's a real short one. Let's, let's just pull it up in the editor so we can see what it is and what it's going to do. Uh, it's very simple. It's going to issue a couple of G commands. This G91 is going to put the uh, lathe into incremental movement mode, uh, which basically means instead of uh, an X2 move going to 2 millimeters, it's going to add 2 millimeters to wherever it happens to be at the moment. So it, if it's at uh, X15, it'll go to X17. And that's a little handy command to use because it's really good with repetitive tasks when um, you want to do a set or a same amount of movement for a bunch of times. You don't have to do the math and say, okay, I got to go 2.1, 3.2, blah, except a lot more complicated. Uh, so this just uh, lets me bump it over the exact amount with just one movement call. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's incremental mode. G21 just puts me in metric mode because this is a metric measurement pulley. Uh, according to the information I could find, uh, the depth that I need is uh, 2.06 millimeters for the depth. And since I'm in diameter mode, I'm going to have it go 4.12. So uh, the next command is the feed command. That's going to feed 30 millimeters per minute or some crap like that. And if you're going to use the F command or the, the feed command, make sure you have it on its own line. Uh, in the previous taping of this, it was not on its own line, and it was being ignored, uh, unbeknownst to me, and uh, that would have been bad. So this is all being done to correct some of the mistakes. So feed command, separate line, 30 millimeters per second, or per minute. And I have a, the simple movement. Since I'm already at, zero, 00 is going to be right against the part at the place I want to start. It'll do the plunge cut and uh, go into the proper depth, hopefully. And then the G0 to retract it by 5 millimeters to give me the clearance above the part. And then right here is the little magic command, and I don't know how my spacing disappeared. But uh, it's called, it's the M98 command, and that just says do a subroutine. And you have your, your subroutines labeled with an O. That's not a 0, that is an O in the alphabet. And you start with a P. I don't know why. So we have a, a P1000, and that will correspond to the O1000. The L9 command means loop nine times. So once it hits this line, 98 says go subroutine, go there. This goes over to here, and it starts this program. And at this point now, I'm, I've made the first groove, and I'm retracted back. Now it's going to do a Z movement. It's going to add 2.34 millimeters to its present position, all over to the right, and then do another plunge cut and since I came back five from the root it's going to go back in five and then come back out five and then the M99 sends it right back and it uh, looks up here and says oops I got another loop to do and it'll increment internally uh, the number of times so this will just keep repeating so it'll go it'll uh, excuse me, move over plunge come back move over plunge come back and the little percent sign there is sort of like an end of program, so it's like a like a waste basket. So if for some reason the M99 don't catch it, the program should stop with this command here. Anyway, put the percent sign there. 
Uh, it must tell the machine to do something, reset or scratch its nose or go out for a leak, whatever the case may be. And then after it's done the uh, nine loops of the subroutine, and then it just uh, pulls back two millimeters farther, and then a G90, which takes it off of incremental mode and puts it back in absolute, so now it'll read the DRO, and then the M30 just says uh, stop program and rewind. So that's what it does. Ta-da! Okay. So we're just going to close this out. I'll save it because I put a space in, whatever, it doesn't do anything. And it goes right back into the program. And uh, since I'm at zero, zero, this is where the, for some reason, the screen actually works. Typically it don't for me. The uh, Mach 3 program does look ahead and see the subroutine. It says, oh, okay, well, we're doing this. Boing, 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 boing. And that is the representation of what's going to happen. Starts here, goes in, over, 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 over. Big retract and then scoot to the right. Cool? Cool. Uh, I just had the uh, feed override on because I was uh, zipping through uh, to make sure all the motion was good and it wasn't going to hit anything. So now I can reset that and then my feed will go back to the uh, the F word of 30. And that's what that will be. Since I have a um, manual spindle, I'm not, I don't have an S word command or a speed command. So I just dial in whatever I like. Anyway, let's uh, let's watch this thing boogie. Just gonna have to do.